Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Death Destroyer books. I'm here with Professor Blois, who was actually my professor when I was at college, and I would like him to do some problems with you to help you out on the DAT and the ODE exam. All right, Professor, someone actually emailed me and wanted a question on interest. Interest, all right. So I thought you might be able to help us out here. Okay, this okay. is a, a simple problem, and the only the purpose of this problem is to show the difference between simple and compound interest. So let's read the problem together. Simon and Connie each invest $500,000 at 2% annual percentage rate. Simon invests in an account yielding simple interest. Connie invests in an account that is compounded annually. What is the difference in values of the two investments at the end of two years? Okay, so let's first take up the simple interest case. The simple interest case, we simply multiply the 2% interest rate times the initial investment, the principal. 2% of 500,000 is 10,000. So, at the end of year one, 500,000 plus 10,000 is going to be 510,000. Okay, now the thing about simple interest is that the, at the end of each year, at the end of each co compound, uh, uh, application of the interest, the same amount of interest is going to be added year after year after year. It's always based on the initial principle. So after year two, the value of the account is going to be another $10,000, $520,000. At the end of year three, $530,000. And if we go to year 10, we'll be adding $10,000 10 times, we'll reach a value of $600,000. That's simple interest. Now let's turn to compound interest. Compound interest is when you apply the interest rate to the accumulated sum at the end of every period, all right? So that, here we go. At the end of the first year, we, now we're looking at Connie, who's doing the compound interest. At the end of the first year, $510 thousand dollars same as with the simple interest however with compound interest the amount of interest we're going to add to this is going to be based on this sum not on the original sum of five hundred thousand dollars but based on the value of the investment at this point so two percent of fifty of five hundred ten thousand dollars is ten thousand two hundred dollars so if we add the five hundred ten thousand dollars at the end of the second year, we're going to add 10,200 to get 520,200. So we have 520,200. At this point, we can answer the question. What is the difference in values of the two investments? Well, you can see at the end of two years, Connie, with the compound interest, has $200 more than the value of uh, Simon's investment at simple interest. So the answer is B, $200. Now, I just wanted to continue this for the third uh, 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 application of the compound interest. We have at the end of the second year, 520,200. We're going to multiply that by 2% and get 10,404. Okay, and we're going to add that 10,404 to that value at the end of two years to get 530,604. So we have 530,604. So you see at the end of three years, Connie's investment is even greater because the uh, interest is being based on the accumulated sum. And after 10 years, if you apply this 10 times, I have the calculation here, it comes out to $609,497.21. So there we are, that's the difference between simple interest and compound interest. Okay, I hope that gives you a nice idea on calculations involving simple and compound interest. You're going to be doing another one you mentioned, something that's yes. more complicated. Uh, a little bit more in depth with the compound interest, yeah. All right, that's a good start. All right, I'll see you in study group. Bye-bye.